Hi, welcome to Dog Training and Evolution. My name's Steve Bullitt and uh, I'm going to tell you all about what this Dog Training and Evolution is all about. We want this to be a resource that people can come to and learn about training their own dogs. Basically, I think if you've got the time and you've got a puppy before you've completely buggered it up, um, most people should be able to train their own dogs. Should they just need the right guidance. So obviously historically that would be dog training classes and lessons, private tuition, residential training. And we still offer all of those options and telephone consultations as well. So you, you can get in touch with us and we can help you with any of those options. But the primary uh, reason for producing this YouTube channel is to actually help people train their own dogs and it's not a personality channel so you're not going to be uh, uh, just sort of seeing me promoting myself like a lot of these uh, dog training uh, um, channels are i mean and, and, and obviously the guys that the guys and girls that get themselves on tv they're they're really sort of producing uh, a lot of content but a lot of it is about promoting themselves not really necessarily to, to help the dogs so we I've called it Dog Training Evolution because I've been around dogs for so long, I've actually seen the evolution over many decades now, because I've been training dogs since the 1970s. And I've seen how dog training has evolved from uh, where there was far more negative training, for want of a better word. It wasn't always brutal. I mean, people would like to lead, uh, you know, lead you on to believe that it was all brutal. It wasn't really. Most anybody that's involved with dogs basically loves dogs, and uh, I don't think anybody's managed to train a dog using entirely negative techniques because it's just not believing possible. Uh, so there's always been positive training, but it's just in the old days, there was a much quicker switch up to uh, uh, corrections and things. So we have looked at developing training so that there is a gap with the positive training. I think a lot sometimes with the positive training, uh, when it's taken to the other extreme, there are downsides to that training too. So we, we're looking at some of the techniques that were previously negative and we're figuring out how to turn some of those techniques into uh, positive techniques that people can use today. So you're still um, training positively but what you'll see with our channel is you're not going to see the same old same old. If you if you follow this channel you will see some different takes on things and different techniques that maybe you haven't seen before. Some of these, um, some of these uh, training techniques, they're not really all new. Uh, they're things that I've, 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 I've done for years and, and I've seen other people do. What you'll find is with some of the people that are on, on uh, social media, some of the, some of the high profile t uh, trainers that are on TV and social media, some of these people um, maybe don't even know these techniques. They don't always know as much as you think they know. Um, and some of the other ones that are the high profile, they know, but they don't want you to know. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, everything. We're going to not hold back. I'm going to sort of really try to educate people. And ultimately, I want this dog training evolution to be something that other people can join. So uh, initially, it's going to be about us, uh, my son, my son, myself, Steve and Tom Bullitt, and obviously our business. But gradually, uh, as it takes off, I, I, I want this to be something that other people can come and join in too, because if you love dogs and you and you want to help dogs and you want to help people then it's only right to try and further training don't try and hold stuff back don't try and keep stuff uh, knowledge to yourself you need to uh, open up and let other people uh, have access to that to that knowledge and and also um, uh, what we've sort of seen over the years, or, or I would always say, is sometimes uh, when, when um, people do uh, produce films, that actually 
you really would have much better knowledge if you had access to the stuff on the cutting room floor rather than the stuff that they're giving you, rather than the content they're feeding and giving out to you. If you had access to the outtakes and the, and the cuts, that's probably where those little golden nuggets of information are and maybe they don't want you to know, maybe they don't want you to see the mistakes, or for whatever reasons. There's lots of trainers out there. Um, none of them are right, none of them are wrong. Everybody has got their own take on it. You've just got to go with what feels right for yourself. See whether what, what you... Um, what you can, what you're, what you're seeing is is actually useful to you. It might not always be useful to you. You might need to uh, look elsewhere. But we aim, we aim to sort of show a broad cross section of, of different training techniques. They'll all be uh, positive. Some of some of the train, uh, there'll, there'll always be people that will criticise anything anybody puts up there. But we we really want to uh, give you the best information that we can.